Hey, Happy, do you know what that noise is? What noise? That ticking noise. I don't hear a ticking noise. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Yay. Yeah, our RC warp is working. Yay. We got a new fuse. We wired it up to its transformer and put a junction box on because I don't want to unscrew the front every time I want to wire it. So yeah, it's working. Look. Go, the whole thing turned. See, working perfectly. Now something you may not know about the RC4, all variations I believe, is that at the end, you'll just have to wait for it. Just the RC4. Mm -hmm. And there. That is an invisible, unadjustable station with no wire that runs for 25 minutes to stop the program from looping. So yeah, the time's even set correctly. And of course, the day. Hey, tell them how it's Tuesday's day. Oh, if you've never noticed, there's a little thing right there. A small nub. That small light gray nub on the edge of the dial <laughs> that moves the day wheel. That's how it does it. So yeah. See, look, it's a normal station. I can just advance it. Advance it normally. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go back to rest. We put the junction box down there, so instead of unscrewing the face and having to do all this stuff in there, we actually put all the wires, except for the master valve, which through, we'll do later, through one sprinkler wire down to that junction box, so now we don't have to hassle with it whenever we want to rewire something. So yeah. I don't know what else there is to say. Even the power supply wire goes through that sprinkler wire. Mm -hmm. But we plan on installing it. I don't know why you said it in that voice, but yes, we <laughs> do. So yeah, what else is there to say? If you have any more questions or want to see anything about it, just tell us in the or comments. If you want to know exactly how it works down to the finest detail possible. But before the video ends, here is a time lapse. And after the time lapse, I guess I'll just end the video. So yeah, here it is.